In our video for you today on the news, Conservative Ben Shapiro gets confronted by a Code Pink activist over Israel's war on Gaza. AOC calls out Supreme Court Justices Clarence Thomas and Justice Alito for corruption as she introduced articles of impeachment against them in Congress. Progressive YouTuber Emma Viglin goes after Joe Biden. U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders calls out corporations in a press release. And U.K. politician Jeremy Corbyn and fashion model Bella Hadid stand up for Palestinians. Let's get started with Ben Shapiro getting confronted by a Code Pink activist over Israel's war on Gaza. How does it feel for you to poison the American public and what you've been perpetuating? Well, hate, sorry. Racism, white supremacy, and the <laughs> genocide that is being carried out on the Palestinian people. Okay, how does it feel to stand for Hamas? Does that feel good to you? Do you feel good standing in solidarity with a terrorist group that has murdered 1,200 Jews I feel very good Jews standing in solidarity with Palestinian people who have been murdered by Israel by U.S. paid tax dollars and bonds, and you have continued to spew hate. Uh, Hamas should not start a war on behalf of the citizens and then shoot its own citizens, and you stand for it, makes you a disgrace the to human dignity The people in Palestine have rights. been occupied for 75 years, You're and the blood is on the hands of every person in this Congress and every person who watches your propaganda of hate, How white supremacy, and racism. You have been poisoning the American public for them to also be complicit in what is going on in Palestine. Shame on you and shame on every one of you who have invited them into this building. Now let's get to AOC calling out Supreme Court Justices Clarence Thomas and Justice Alito for corruption as she introduced articles of impeachment against them. Reasonable Americans will and do believe that Justices Thomas and Alito are prone and subject to corruption that the institution failing to punish them is broken, and that consequently their impeachment is a constitutional imperative and our congressional duty. The abuses of power committed by Justice Thomas and Justice Alito are precisely the types of corruption that the framers understood was an existential threat to our democracy. Instances like these and misconduct like that of Alito's and Thomas's are precisely why the framers gave us the tool of impeachment. Corruption without consequence infects all it touches. And that is why this body, Congress, has a constitutional and moral obligation to hold these justices accountable to maintain the integrity of our courts and to uphold the standards of the judiciary and our institutions. Lastly, we cannot ignore the most important material consequences of this court's unchecked corruption and its resulting influence, the suffering of the American people. We cannot ignore and pretend that this corruption is wholly unrelated to the pregnant Americans su now suffering and bleeding out in emergency rooms under the court's unleashing of extreme abortion bans across the United States, which was a key political priority of these undisclosed benefactors and shadow organizations surrounding Alito and Thomas' misconduct. Nor can we ignore the millions of Americans now suffering hours-long wait times in the hot sun, often without water, just to cast a ballot, also a direct result of this corrupt court's gutting of the Voting Rights Act, allowing the closing of polling sites across the country. You see, neither these justices nor their shadowy benefactors have to answer to the parents of developmentally delayed children about their decision to gut the power of the EPA and the entire administrative state with it. But they do have to answer to us, the Congress, whom these people, the American people, have elected and entrusted to protect them, to serve them, and to defend the well-being of our democracy. Mr. Speaker, I am here today presenting these articles of impeachment not because I am a Democrat and not because I am blind to its odds in a Republican-led chamber. I present them because it is the right thing to do. And while our framers perhaps may not have envisioned someone like me in this seat, they absolutely did envision the necessity and value of the impeachment action upon which I seek to advance today. Thank you, and I yield back. 
In regards to this, AOC also said the following. Corruption without consequence infects all it touches. Congress must exercise its power to impeach. The corruption of Justices Thomas and Alito constitutes a clear danger to our democracy. I move to impeach them because it is the right thing to do for the American people. As for progressive YouTuber Emma Viglin of The Majority Report, going after Joe Biden, Emma Viglin said the following. Joe Biden is a good man. He's just helping Israel commit genocide because they're his friends. And he's only gripping us in a suicide pact where the outcome is a second Trump term and Republican control of both chambers because his family says he should and he's a family man. In Palestinian news, UK politician Jeremy Corbyn said the following on X. Our message to the government, we are a movement for Palestine and we are never ever going away. Also in Palestinian news, in response to UNRWA Director of Communications saying, UNRWA is not able to establish full communication with our team in Rafah, but has received reports of mass casualties among civilians. Among those killed and injured are children and women. It's a horror show that is not stopping, that is not coming to an end. Fashion model Bella Hadid said the following, Do you understand the horror now? Is it clicking yet? In regards to Bernie Sanders, he called out corporations in a press release where he talked about the need for a windfall profit tax. In the words of his press release, Bernie Sanders, quote, announced he will soon introduce legislation that would impose a 95% windfall tax on the excessive profits of large corporations that are using inflation as an excuse to charge the American people outrageous prices on the products they sell, unquote. In regards to this, Bernie Sanders said, The American people are sick and tired of being ripped off by large corporations that continue to make record-breaking profits by charging outrageously high prices for gas, rent, food, and prescription drugs. Enough is enough. 